So anyhow, when I was 16, I wanted to do it, but I couldn't afford it. I didn't have the money and then I had the money, but I didn't have uh, the ability to do it because then I got married and then I had kids, uh, so I didn't do it. Then I said, okay, it's not my time. It's a lot of flying when you're a designer, you know, to be all over the world. You have to fly to places, but I always believe in myself that I will do it. For sure, I will design, I will do it. When I, uh, my kids were big enough, uh, I got divorced and I decided, okay, I do something for myself now, not for someone else. I will do it for me. So I always want other girls and other women to believe in themselves that when they go for it, they go for it. I decided to call my brand Fake Love Swimmer because uh, a lot of people, when I needed them to be in my life, they disappeared, they were really fake. Because people think, oh, it's not real love. No, it is real love out there for everybody. It's nothing to do with love. It's to do with the people that surrounding you that can be very fake. And the place that I was at that time, I uh, call my brand uh, Fake Love Swimmer. Of course, we want to be the most beautiful on the beach that everybody will say, wow. But nothing is perfect. But I try my best to design bikinis for girls that they will feel perfect about their body. Even me as a woman, I don't feel 100%. But I want my uh, consumer and everybody to really feel comfortable with what I design. When I was 16 years old, first thing that I designed, it was like a pouch. I walked with this in the streets and everybody was crazy about it. And since then, since my pouch, I said, oh my God, this is the thing that I really want to do. I want to design, I want to get crazy, but I couldn't afford doing it. And then I made other things in my life that was really not my passion. And then when I moved to Belgium, I got divorced for my first man. And that's when I decided, that's it. I'm going for my dream. And I just went for it. And I wake up one day, I flew to Brazil choose my group of people that will help me to accomplish my company and my fabrics and all the things that around Fake Love Swimmer. And right now, in June 14, we are doing a fashion show, the first one. And I'm very excited for it because I think the material and all the things that I put in Fake Love Swimmer is top of the line, it's exclusive, people would love it. And I'm very excited to see girls wearing it. And I really hope that girls in all kinds of shape of bodies would love it. I think every woman as a designer, if she should try everything before she says that she cannot afford it. But don't ever give up your dreams because a dream is very important. It's who you are. And I never give up none of, none of my dreams. Every dream that I wanted to do, I did it. And don't listen to people that gives you negativity. Don't do it, it's too expensive, who is gonna buy it? Because this is the people that don't believe in themselves. If you believe in yourself, your dream will come true.